Ben, I've been with you for several years now and it's just such a massive journey that I've been on myself as a musician, as a working professional. I just wanted to talk to you about how important it is to look after your body, of course, being a musician. Certainly from a musical point of view, music is based on tone, okay, the vibrational tone, and that's exactly the same as the way the human body works. So, in fact, Didi Palmer, the developer of chiropractic, actually talked about tone, and that tone was the essence of chiropractic. And certainly, if there is a dis-ease process going on with the body, lack of ease, there is sometimes a reduction of tone, and sometimes there can be an increased tone. And just like when you're playing the harp, if the notes are off, the, the music doesn't sound so pretty, and that's certainly how you present it to the clinic initially, where, where you, your, your tone was off and you are expressing what medicine describes as poor health, right? But all I could see was a system that had a huge amount of potential. And certainly when you're a musician, you are um, giving yourself a lot of the time. It's, it's about, it's, you're expending your own natural energy to entertain the, uh, others. And that diminished energy within the system can then lead to decreased adaptability and then that can start affecting your own health. And I often have musicians coming in who are exhausted, emotionally stressed, physically stressed and chemically stressed. So my job as a chiropractor is to identify in this wonderful thing called the spine a vertebral subluxation. And a vertebral subluxation based on science is essentially a misalignment of the vertebra which, which occludes, doesn't block or pinch the nerve, but certainly interferes with the um, uh, flow of energy from above down and the expression of life from inside out. Our bodies are a chemistry set, essentially, and our nervous system controls all body chemistry. So just sitting here now, to get into a seated position, we have to change our body chemistry to get into that position. The, our minds are now going through what we're going to have for lunch, that's going to change our body chemistry, right? So often when people come to the clinic, the, the, the body is not expressing chemistry properly, and that often comes down to the communication within the nervous system. So what I do through, we take x-rays, we do spinal palpation, we do brain spinal cord scans to identify where interference is occurring within the spine. And it might be happening at one level. Um, indeed, you know, we just adjusted a little, little caddy who's gorgeous, and we just adjusted her upper cervical spine, which is often the most common area for vertebral subluxation to occur in, or in all humans, but certainly in children, because they're not moving around so much, especially caddy's age. And we've also done an adjustment into her, her sphenoid bone here, which actually has an effect on the, the whole of the cranial function. And again, the whole focus of what we're trying to do is remove the interference so the body can communicate properly. And certainly if the body's communicating properly, our performance is going to be better. And from a musical standpoint, the music's going to sound better. in my case you know full well I didn't get any treatment until I was what you know in my 20s really yeah. so I think the, the sooner you can start it it seems to be absolutely and it, the thing is that there's the postural stress and, and uh, it was been said for a thousand years that, that the the wind the, the posture is a window to, to our health and certainly posture plays a massive role when kids are iPhoning and doing all that sort of stuff now and, and certainly that has a negative effect on brain development so it enhances performance and we certainly have young um, students who come to the clinic who see their grades go up but also we have musicians coming to who see their performance increase they can sit at the piano longer playing their, their, their pieces they can sit the harp longer so they can practice longer and of course the more you practice the better you get and also just on a final point you know thinking about the harp as a particular instrument um, you know, as you sit, you know, there is a certain posture to sitting with the harp, you're slightly turning in just because of the angle yeah. of the instrument. And, you know, violinists, poor things, they have to do this all day, or cellists, you know, yeah. there, there's all these sort of standpoints which really sort of add to it all as well. Yes, yeah, and those chronic postural stresses have an impact onto the spine. The spine protects the nerves, and the nerves look after body chemistry, so it has a huge impact on, on health. Yeah, so really the way I've looked at it with you is it's like an investment, it's like a pension in your future really, isn't it, to do with your health. You know, you've allowed me now to be able to carry on doing what I love doing, which is performing and playing the harp, and you know, it's been sensational, so thank you so much. That's my honour. Thank you. No